We'll leave you now with pictures from an award-winning garden at Cressing in Essex, which has been open today. From the Weekend News team here today, bye-bye. Good evening, welcome to Weather Week. Those warm days of May seem a very long while ago now. We've barely seen temperatures reaching 15 Celsius for much of the last week, let alone into the middle 20s. Just to remind ourselves how good the middle of June should be, I brought along some temperatures for Norwich and the average maximum temperature should have climbed from 17 Celsius on the first of the month up to about 20 degrees Celsius by the 25th and the minimum night value is about 9 degrees rising to 12. Well, obviously, we've not really achieved that at all. We've seen some very cool weather, especially recently, when on the 9th of June, the daytime maximum temperature of only 10 degrees Celsius was an equal record lowest for Norwich Weather Centre. Now, at present, the maximum temperature is about 4 degrees below average and the minimum 3 degrees. The minimum, I suspect, not all that low because we've kept a lot of cloud, and that's probably the reason the maximums are very low as well. If we break the cloud, we could see values, hopefully, by the end of this week, just going above the line and maybe, with a bit of luck, reaching 20 Celsius. Well, since cloud is important, no better place to look for that than on the satellite pictures, which during today have shown a lot of this nuisance value low cloud around. It's given patchy light rain and drizzle, no great quantities recently, and I think it's going to be a while before we completely lose the cloud. The feature to the west that you can't see on the satellite pictures, by the way, will be an area of high pressure, and it's that which is controlling the weather at the moment. Now our chart for today shows roughly where the high is, just off the left hand edge of the chart. We've had a very weak cold front moving down across the country, giving some patchy drizzle, and the isobars bringing cool air in behind it, bringing cloudy air and bringing some patchy light rain and drizzle. Not a lot of change there tonight, and equally perhaps not a lot of change to the temperatures. Compared to recent nights, very similar, 8 or 9 Celsius, that's the high 40s Fahrenheit. As for tomorrow, a lot of cloudy weather still, particularly in the east of the region, still the odd light shower here and there, just a hint of some brightness further to the west. But even there, it's not going to be all that warm. Something of an orderly breeze left, of course. That's going to keep most places around 13 Celsius, 55 degrees Fahrenheit, and obviously well below average. This week's weather certainly will be dominated by the high to begin with, and I think on Monday it's changed very little at all, really, and that's left us close to the low, so the threat of further showery rain or drizzle, and I think a cool feel to the breeze as well. The isobars a little bit close together for a time at first this week. Sea temperatures, by the way, are about 12 Celsius, so feeling rather cool around the coast. The best chance of higher temperatures well inland, where you have the most shelter, but no real change to the chart for quite some time. It's only as we get towards the second half of the week that the high begins to try and move in towards us, and by about Friday, just the hint of a weak ridge, which could well bring the winds back to the west or the northwest and bring a recovery of temperatures as well. So looking at the whole week overall, you're going to have to wait till the second part of the week for any real sign of improvement. We're going to have showers or spells of drizzly rain for the first two or three days at least, and then becoming somewhat brighter, firstly in the west of the region, and I think all places improving by about Friday. That'll be when we lose the coolness to the breeze, which will be fairly strong at times near the east coast during the first two or three days. The wind then backing to the northwest, no real problems I think for any of us this week, perhaps some early morning mist around on Friday morning and again into the weekend. Now you heard what the temperature should be, way below average then for most of this week, slowly getting above the line by about Thursday with a prospect hopefully a warm day on Friday. Pleasurewood Hills theme park, home of the Cannonball Express roller coaster. <laughs>